Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a scraper mitt, perfect for keeping your hand warm and dry while you scrape your windshield. For this project, you will need the following. You will need a third of a yard of fleece for a small size, a little less than a half a yard for a large. And actually you could make several from this or a matching hat to go with it if you want. An eighth of a yard of faux fur, and this is optional, but I do recommend it. Four to five inches of sew on Velcro, a one inch D-ring, and of course a windshield scraper. And I got mine at the dollar store. Once you have all those things, it's time to start cutting out your pattern. You will need to cut out two of the liner pattern, two of the exterior, two of the cuff, one of the loop, and two of the amazing size adjuster. Now, for this pattern, you will be cutting fur, and something I highly recommend is that you don't double up on fur. You need to cut out each piece individually. The, patch, the pattern's symmetrical, so you don't worry, have to worry about um, flipping over the pattern, so you just need to cut out two singly of the fur, and make sure that the nap of the fur is going the same direction, and I like to have it um, going down the glove, so you'll just kind of um, pet the fur, if you will, and see what direction it lies, and so you want to have it lying all in the same direction on both sides of the cuff when you put it together. Another thing is, is that you really want to cut this either outside or it, when you're done cutting it inside, take it out immediately and give it a good shake because fur is going to fly everywhere. You need to be very careful. I don't want you to have to clean up a mess. Also, you're going to want a lint roller for yourself when you're working with fur. But trust me, it looks so great. It's worth it. We're going to start with the lining. Putting right sides together, you're going to sew each side of the seam of the lining using a half inch seam allowance, leaving the bottom and the top open, the little square at the top. Once you have sewn each side, try slipping the scraper into the top of the mitt to make sure that it fits. You might want to make the opening a little smaller to make it a good snug fit if you need to. Turn it right side out and then set it aside. Once you have the lining all put together, set it aside and let's get started on the rest of the mitt. Taking the two pieces of the size adjuster, place the right sides together and leaving the short straight side open, sew around using a quarter inch seam allowance. Trim down the excess and turn right side out. Make sure the seams are well pushed out. Then top stitch close to the edge, less than a quarter inch, all the way around. Then, taking the four to five inches of Velcro, sew the hook on one end and loop on the other end, leaving a gap in between. Know that the Velcro is all on the same side of the size adjuster. Once you have that done, set it aside. Now it's time to make the exterior with the cuff. With right sides together, you're going to take one of the exterior and one of the cuff, pin together, and then sew using a half inch seam allowance. Repeat with the other side. Now you're going to tack on the D-ring, the loop, and the amazing size adjuster to one of the exterior sides. You're going to take the loop piece, fold in each side, and then sew a straight stitch down the middle to give it a nice finished look. Then slip the D-ring on, loop the fold in half um, to secure the D-ring on, and then you're going to pin it to the mitt. And then you're going to pin the amazing size adjuster to the other side, the opposite side of the D-ring loop. And I just recommend sewing and tacking those on. Okay, great, now that you've got that done, it's time for the next step. All right, now it's time to bring the exterior together. So like you did with the lining, sew each side using a half inch seam allowance, taking care to go slow over the very thick sections where you sew on the D-ring and the size adjuster as there is a lot of fabric. And leave the top and the bottom open. All right, now that you have your exterior ready, it's time to get your interior and bring it all together. Taking the lining, you're gonna stuff it inside the exterior so right sides are touching. Line up the seams at the bottom, pin them together, and then sew them together using a half inch seam allowance. You're gonna turn it right side out by pulling it through the opening in the top.
So you're gonna pull it all the way out and then you're gonna stuff the lining back in. Then you're going to insert the scraper, loop the adjuster through the jewelry, and you are finished. Now one final thing, even though it's picky, you should try using a little needle to pull fur out of the seam in the cuff. It'll just make it look nice. If you liked this pattern and tutorial, I have several others on my website, fleecefun.com, that you might also enjoy. All my patterns and tutorials are free. You might also like the rocker trapper hat. You can actually insert headphones into the hat so it can rock out to your tunes while keeping warm. You might also like the bow infinity wrap. Very stylish, cute, and made out of minky to keep your shoulders warm. Have a great day and remember, velvet is pretentious, fleece is fun.